What's up, Collider fans? Mission Impossible Fallout hits theaters today, and we've got to ask, is it time for Tom Cruise to win an honorary Academy Award? Stay tuned. Jeff Snyder here, joined by Mark Riley and Perry Nemiroff. And guys, I am looking at the playlist this morning in a piece, I believe, written by Gregory Elwood. And he asks, it's 2018, so let's ask the question that is actually the most realistic. This is in, obviously, a response to follow coming out. Sure. Is it time for Tom Cruise to win an honorary Oscar? Mm. Let's start with Mark Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to the I, Oscar expert. In I was Perry on my Emerald. toes there for a second. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Uh, no, not yet. I think we still have plenty of Tom Cruise uh, available to us. There's going to be more uh, movies coming out. Obviously, another Mission Impossible is going to come out. But I would love to see Tom Cruise actually dig into a role and win an Oscar for acting and not an honorary Oscar because he's the greatest movie star of our time. At and this Fallout point, is doing it. he's been nominated three times <clears> for <throat> Born times. on the Fourth of July, Jerry Maguire, and Magnolia. Correct. And Correct. Magnolia was 1999, so it's been almost 20 years since Tom Cruise has been nominated. Like, may maybe it's just not going to happen for him. Perry, what do you think? My knee-jerk reaction to that question was, yeah, why not? Because also the first thing I think that comes to mind with why not is, oh, but he's so young and has so much of his career ahead of him. But then when you look at some other names that have uh, that have gotten an honorary Oscar at a younger age, you know, I'm just looking at Spike Lee was 59. Um, Elizabeth Taylor at 61, Tom Cruise is 56. So I think age shouldn't be a factor. And then I think about everything he's done over the years. Yeah, he has pretty much relegated himself to action star recently. Mm -hmm. And it's been a little while since we've really seen him sink his teeth into a meaty role that maybe will get him some Oscar consideration. But he has had that in the past. He is doing some incredible achievements in action movies right now. and. You kind of said it. He is one of the biggest movie stars of our time, and that feels to me like something that should be recognized. I think Cruz is an underrated actor. I think he's he's actually yes. a terrific performer. He could he could tell me you know that the sky was red and I would believe it. Okay, because he just throws himself 100% into every role. What's what's interesting is I wonder if like there's been a lot of talk if there's been any talk about like giving oscars out to, to people who don't have them or uh, or or can't get them yet it's stunts mm, it's stuntmen yes. yeah. like what if you know if the academy instituted a stunt oscar for this year's movies and it went to not just the stunt performers but also well, I guess it should just go to the stunt performers. But in this case, Tom Cruise is doing his own stunts. Yeah. Tom. So I feel like he deserves an Oscar just for that alone. I mean, isn't that another reason to give him an honorary Oscar? Because look at all the things he has accomplished over the but years. But it wouldn't be honorary. It would be it would be specifically if they did an gave a stunt Oscar this year. So we need a stunt year. category, like an actual category. Right, exactly. And then we also need an honorary stunt Oscar. So then we'll have because, everything covered. Because I'm with Riley. I think it's way too early. I think it's almost offensive to, to pose this question. I know that a lot of people uh, like around Cruz's age have gotten honorary Oscars like Perry said there was Sophia Loren at 56 Paul Newman was only 60 Sinatra was 56 Oprah was 58 yeah like so this is around the time in your career when you get an honorary Oscar but I just think you know Cruz still has some he, great he, movies to come he's not done yet he's also a prolific producer he's produced some of the biggest hits mm -hmm. he's a stuntman as you referred to Perry does these crazy crazy stunts and he's one of the most underrated actors out there my favorite performance is Magnolia. He deserved an Oscar so, win for that. I think he, we have a lot more movies and he's getting a lifetime achievement let, Oscar. Let's go back to the, the question that Perry posed though. Like, are we going to see Tom Cruise give up these big action movies? He's, you know, his next movie is Top Gun 2. Are we going to see him turn his back on this uh, genre eventually and go back to at least doing uh, serious movies with guys like Cameron Crowe and Paul Thomas Anderson? I think that if a role presents itself that he would do it, I don't think he shies away from acting challenges. I think right now his heart seems to be in action movies. Top Gun 2, that's going to be interesting to see what that does for the box office and action-wise. I, I would like to see him dig into something, though, acting-wise that um, kind of 
brings back that old collateral magnolia those the, like even les grossman from tropic mm. thunder i would love to see that kind Perry? of stuff it doesn't seem like he's going to ditch the action movies anytime soon nor should he because we're always talking about that now as action stars are getting older and they have to cut around them so that it still looks like they can hold their own in a fist fight that's not the situation that tom cruise is in and based on fallout in particular it doesn't look like he's anywhere even close to that part of his career so i hope the mission impossible franchise continues and if this is what he's passionate yeah, like, about right now he's doing th it well this so is, let him keep going this is a great movie like it's top five of the year for me so far and nice. maybe it even gets that that os best picture oscar slot that was supposed to go to movies like the dark knight yeah. maybe, maybe this is the, the kind of movie that gets in like i'm just I, I think that tom cruise if he does want to win an oscar that's not an honorary Oscar that's just given to him. He needs to get back to working with top level directors. I mean, this is a guy who's worked with Kubrick before, Steven Spielberg. You know, not that McQuarrie is an incredible director, but he needs to get back to doing some more dramatic material and trusting some some name level directors. I would love to that's see that, and I think that should be next. But I think uh, he is. I think we're going to get another Mission Impossible after this because the reviews are great. The box office is going to be stunning, um, and Top Gun too. You mentioned is coming out soon, yep. and. We're going to see what he's going to go into next. It's only a matter of time, I think, before he does align himself with one of those kinds of directors again. But there's nothing to say he can't do both. All right. Well, guys, let us know what you think. Does Tom Cruise deserve an honorary Oscar? Like, is, is it way too early in his career? Or, or, you know, by now we know what he is and we should give him it because mm. uh, he's made a lot of money for the industry. Sure. Uh, so leave a comment, like and share this video on social media and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.